Hello friends, I'm Joana from Joana Miranda Studio, and this is my video series, Art Bag, Time Saving Tips and Tricks. If you're interested in illustrating and drawing, you really don't need much more than a piece of paper and a pencil to get started. Of course, a good comfortable drawing surface is also important, and that's what I'm gonna talk about today. This is my drawing board. Um, it is a, the smallest one that I could actually find. It measures 16 inches by 21 inches across. Um, it has a handle, as you can see. That was what it was banging before in the first part of my video. It also has these legs that extend out. It's designed to be used uh, so that the board is at an angle when you're drawing. That makes it easier to actually see and to draw. Um, if you have the board tilted at an angle as you're working over it. The legs collapse down when you are not using the board so that you can store it flat. Um, also, as you can see, it has this little handy clip here, um, which can keep your paper in place. I don't always use the clip. I'm just showing it to you right now for the purposes of, of this video. I don't always use the clip because it's quite tight and I don't want it to mar the paper. Um, there's a little bit of an indent from the clip right now. Um, there are other boards available that have actually a ruler that goes across that's attached to the board and it slides up and down as you work. I don't actually like those boards. Um, the reason why, there are three reasons. First of all, um, when the ruler is slid all the way up, it still occupies a portion of the top of the board and that is less board space that you can use for your illustrating purposes. If you slide the board, the ruler, sorry, down and you're resting your wrists on it, that's also not that comfortable. So that's the second reason why I don't like the boards that have the attached sliding ruler. The third reason is when I've used those boards and I slide the ruler all the way up out of the way, I find that eraser crumbs and other dust and debris can get stuck under it and I tend to be a neat freak. I like to have my equipment as clean as possible. So those are the three reasons why I actually prefer a board that just has a clip here at the top. I got my board from Engineer Supply. Now I'm not an affiliate with the company, but um, I will put a link to the company in the description, video description below. Unfortunately, when I checked today, this board is no longer available. Um, however, Engineer Supply has a bunch of other different drafting boards in, in various different sizes, so you'll probably be able to find what you need if you go online to look. Now, why did I want such a small board? Here's the reason why. This is my drafting desk. This particular desk is actually designed to have the top tilt upward, so you could actually conceivably have this whole space as a drafting board with everything tilted upward. Of course, if I did that, all my supplies would fall off. As you can see, my husband and I live in a really small New York apartment, so that's why economizing on space is pretty important. I decided it was better to go with the drafting board option. So let me extend the legs. And there we have it in place on top of my drafting desk, and I can have all my supplies surrounding me at easy reach. And that's it for today's art bag time-saving tips and tricks video. I post these videos every Monday and Friday. Uh, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, why not subscribe to my channel? And if you subscribe, don't forget to toggle on the little bell because that way you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.